you know, I got a message from one of the top, top-notch bishops, pastors in Nigeria. Um, he didn't talk to me directly because he couldn't get me. I think maybe he tried to get me, but he couldn't get me. So he gathered some ministers who are close, who he knows that know me, and that are my friends. And uh, he told them, I mean, different people did this. Mm. Uh, different people. Everybody was, uh, everybody was concerned. What is wrong with Pastor Sunday? Mm -hmm. What is the problem with Pastor Sunday? So, I mean, I don't, maybe I shouldn't mention names anyway. But th these are top, from the government to the top bishops in the country, they were calling my friends everywhere and call, calling them, what's wrong with Pastor Sunday? What, is, what are we hearing about Pastor Sunday? What is he doing? What's wrong with you? Is he okay? So, one of the bishops said, I think he's a, maybe he's a serious man. I think he's a serious man. Maybe he's a godly man that wants to, you know, that likes the truth. Because what he said is, I know that Pastor Sunday is a man of God. And I also know that, because I've preached in his church before, and he also knows that revel is this is what revelation is progressive. And because revelation is progressive, I know that Pastor Sunday could know something about ministry and the word of God that I don't know mm -hmm. or that we don't know in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. or that we, were, we still remain where we were and it must have moved forward. Mm -hmm. But why should it go on social, net, uh, mm -hmm. social, network, social media mm -hmm. to correct us? Mm -hmm. That uh, he shouldn't have done that. Okay, that's what one said. He said, if he had come to me, I would have, res I would have listened to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, many people say this. Then another one said, with the rest, with the level of respect that these geos have for the D uh, DSA, for no, they don't say DSA. They say Pastor Sunday. That there is no other person in Nigeria who could have caught all of them together and they would all have listened. That you should have, you should have, if you have, I mean, if you pick up the phone to me, go and meet them, they would have responded to you of all people. Of you know, you are one person that all of them would have listened to. Yes, what they said is true. If I had said I wanted to meet, every time I had told, I had picked up phone that I need to talk to Oyedepo, I mean, uh, Oyedepo or meet him, I have met him. He, they always, they always send for me and they even make me sleep in their house. The same thing with uh, Papa Adeboye. Any time I wanted to meet him, I had always met him, no matter how busy he is. So they have been gracious to me. So I could meet with all of them. There is none of them that I, not meet, I could not meet. But because of our culture and tradition, each time I would talk to them, they would just, I know they are listening out of politeness, but they are not going to change the system. Mm -hmm. And if I talk to them, they are so entrenched in the system that, you know, for example, I was here with another one in my house here. A very respected one, you know, who is very with high level of integrity. People know him as a righteous man in Nigeria. And I was telling him, to, this is the way we do church here. Because they were telling me, we have never seen anything like this before in my 60 years of life or 70 years of life. And I said, okay, we need to change things the way he, he listened to me, listened to me very well. The wife was excited. I said, come and teach us, come and teach us. And the old man just said, uh, um, you know, in Nigeria, in, our, in the things is not as like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I know what to anticipate. I know these people too much. The, all these people who are telling me, go and talk to them and something like that. I will talk to them, I will receive them, but they will listen to me with honor. Even the one who said, let me tell you something. The one, let me now go more deeply. The one who said, Revelation is progressive. And that I know that Pastor Sunday probably knows something that I don't know. Why doesn't he come to me? Nalayo, 
<laughs> Even though it's true, he would have expected me to come to him to talk. But you know the way they treat you in Nigeria. You know, they will receive from you, but they will still expect you not to be their teacher because they are elders. Mm. They will expect you, they will give you access, they, will, they can make you to preach in the church, but not to teach and coach them because they are elders. You know, yeah. you, know you, don't, you don't coach an elder. That is the culture. Yeah. So what he is saying, he is thinking of talking, coming Just to talk. A conversation. Conversation. But the thing that I need to bring to them needs coaching. Yeah. And I've done this before. I've tried this before. So I organized the top ministers in Nigeria to come to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And you know what I did? I rented a sanatorium, what do you call it? Uh, I, like a summer... Hotel, hotel, it's a hotel, a resort center, resort yeah. Center. Okay. I rented a resort center in winter like this. It was the resort center under the president of Ukraine. Mm. There were ministers, there were 22 ministers from Nigeria and America, top ministers that came. And that man couldn't come, that bishop, but he sent his top pastors to come here, pastor to be here. And many of them sent their top people to, be, to come. And I locked myself in, like I'm doing solitude. Mm -hmm. Locked myself in with them for two weeks. And I taught them so many things out of what needs to be done to change a nation. But when that guy came back, was on fire, the assistant of the bishop, when he came back and he began to share it with all the bishops, the ones that were not here, they said, you are going to collapse our ministry. The co the, because of the things that needed to be done, they needed to tear down everything they have done before. Mm. So there is no way, even no, no matter how much they want to change, like Pastor Kumi, for example, he had said they want to tear down everything. But do you think he's finding it easy? Definitely not. Even though he, am, he himself has come to that, uh, okay, and he wants to do it, but the system itself is more than them now. Mm. So, yeah. The only way out there, mm. that's why I'm taking my time to explain this. The mm. only way out is to go to the masses and open their eyes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the only way is to go to the masses, the captives themselves, and open their eyes. Mm. Let them help them. So the because when the captives them. begin to walk out ah. and the empire begins to crumble, you will not have any. That will be salvation to the fathers as well. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Now, we need to spread this word and we need to do it together. For that to happen, we need your help. Just five little steps that you could help us to spread the word. Number one thing we need you to do is to like the videos. Please go like this video right now. Number two, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Number three, we need you to press and click on that notification bell. You see the bell? Go press on it. And number four, we need you to go comment. Write your comment, good or bad, just write what you feel. Number five, share, share, share. Share on every platform. Share on Instagram, share on Facebook. Just share and spread the word. Thank you so much. All right. Bless you.